Welcome to my channel and please subscribe to the video and uh, also share this video. I want to talk about Inauguration Day. Now this is an ugly picture of two presidents walking out of the White House during the presidential transition. Now this isn't uh, Trump, although what I'm saying is Trump should not look this way when he walks out of, when he does the presidential transition on Inauguration Day. Let me just show you how scripted the optics are on Transition Day. The powerful shadow government wants to let you know that there actually is no transition at all, that they are still firmly in power. And the way that they show you this is that the presidents dress alike during transition. Now, let's go back and look at the last transition when Bush uh, uh, left the White House in order to give it up to Obama. Uh, you don't want to go hunting with this guy here, but uh, let's have a look, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Look how they dress exactly the same. Same Secret Society trench coat. Look at that. Okay, that's... Obama saying farewell to his cousin. Yeah, they're actually cousins, uh, and uh, and they're dressed alike to sh to hint that there's no change in, in power. Then we go to George Bush taking office from Clinton, from the Clintons. You know, the Clintons used to be in power. Uh, President uh, Bill Clinton. Well, Bush was the one who won. After Clinton was there for two terms, and then Bush won, and here's the transition. Here they come out in their same secret society coat. There's not a dime's worth of difference between them signaling there's no change at all here, folks. Okay, so let's go back before that. When Clinton took over from Bush's father, Herbert Walker Bush, and we'll see here, look, the same thing, the same trench coat. There they come out. Well, this got uncued, but uh, here they come out of the White House. Vice presidents first, look how they're dressed. Not a dime's worth of difference between them, really. Well, okay, there is a difference between them. But the, the main, well, they're delaying, but let me, let me just, uh, okay, go ahead. There they come out, same trench coat, secret society members, skull and bones, Rhodes scholars, the whole bit. Okay, and, you know, you figure, okay, well, that's, that's it. I have nothing left to show you, and that's not quite enough. Well, I'm sorry it is enough, and more sickening is I do have more to show you. And so if we go back four years prior to that, when, when this guy, Bush, took over from Reagan, you remember Reagan, right? Now, certainly he's not scripted. He's Reagan. Well, I'm sorry. Reagan, Reagan. Well, there we are. You know, it, uh, there's the trench coats. There's the wives. There's the presidential transition. There is the signaling to everybody that if you were hoping for change, if you were hoping something would be different, nothing is going to really change because the same evil Babylonian world government is firmly in power. And so I want you to take a moment to subscribe to this channel. It's very important. Uh, this channel uh, is a love revolution channel where we are planning to bring a love revolution all over the world to exit countries out of the failed, evil United Nations system into a system of hope, prosperity, and mutual security for aligned nations. My name is Yosef Yom Tov, and I still have more to show you. Let's. I went back even further, and Reagan, he took over from Jimmy Carter. Remember that name? He's still alive. And, well, here's uh, the transition. 
look, they look like twins. They look like twins. Isn't that a bit scary? And uh, so that's presidential transitions. And just for fun, not that much fun, but just for interest sake, when I was showing this to my friend, I decided to look back one more. And we had the transition of Nixon taking over from Ford and their suits. Now, the chances of having a blue suit in your uh, closet is very rare. Uh, people don't buy blue suits. They certainly don't wear them very much. How many times do you see somebody walking around with a blue suit? Well, what are the two presidents of the United States just happen to be walking with blue suits? And please don't tell me, oh, they don't have the same tie. It's a different shade of blue. Well, these secret society cults, they build plausible deniability in everything that they do. So if you've ever played Connect the Dots as a child and you connect the dots, how far do you have to go before you realize what the uh, picture is? Sometimes it's a puppy dog or a kitty cat. And you normally only have to fill out about 70% or less of the dots to see what it is. Because then you're responsible. And that's exactly what they do. They give you enough hints and information to make you responsible for what you're seeing. And they give you enough plausible deniability to let the, I don't want to call it evil in your heart, but the denier in your heart to deny the evil that's going on around you. Okay? So don't deny that the picture. Don't deny this picture. 70, 80% of the dots have been connected for you. Don't deny what you see. What you just saw was about five presidential transitions, and they all have virtually the same clothing. And it's similar enough to be the same. If I had showed you one presidential transition where it was totally different, then you can talk to me about that. But here you can see what we all see is that the presidents are elected. And so everybody to watch Donald Trump, is he going to look like Obama is he going to look like Obama during this transition? Donald Trump, I'm talking to you. You say you're a man of the people. You say you're your own man. You say you used to be an insider. You used to be a deep insider, you said, and that you're not anymore. Well, prove it to us. Don't look like Obama. Look totally different than Obama. Listen to what they tell you to wear and wear virtually the opposite of what they tell you. They and if you take the time, uh, I want to not leave you without any hope. You know, the facts and information are found outside of the Bible. The truth that has the power to change your life and your future and your eternity is found only in the Bible. So please take the time to subscribe to this channel. Put it 